Hi, James Lee Job here with your weekly poetry reading. And this week, I'm going to focus on the haiku of the poet Yobakasi Isa of Japan. Uh, first of all, let's talk for a moment about haiku. Uh, haiku is a short form of Japanese poetry in three phrases, typically characterized by three qualities. Uh, the essence of haiku is cutting. This is often represented by the juxtaposition of two images or ideas and a cutting word between them, a kind of verbal punctuation mark. Traditional haiku often consists of 17 syllables, although this was in Jap Jap Japanese, the 17 syllables, in phrases of five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. And uh, there's usually a seasonal reference. Now, the 17-syllable thing doesn't translate well into English, so as I read you these poems in English, some of them clearly will not be 17 syllables. That is the translation. Also, because of that, people writing haiku in American English often blow off the 17-syllable and make it three short phrases. But I'm not going to go into that uh, just right here. Okay. A little bit on Isa. Kobayashi Isa, mostly just known as Isa today, is a very playful haiku poet. He likes to joke with and about frogs, crickets, uh, speaks to crickets from bed. Uh, early in life, he became a Buddhist. And his life, uh, he was born in a rural, born, his father was a farmer, who also wrote some haiku, by the way. His, his life had a lot of tragedy. Uh, he was a widower. Uh, uh, he had three marriages altogether. Uh, four of his children died either in infancy or in very young childhood. Imagine that. And um, also he lost his mother when he was two years old. Uh, he went to Japan to uh, Tokyo to be educated and went back to the farm later. He lived from uh, 1763 to the early 1800s. Now these haiku, by nature, are very short, so I'm going to read them a couple of times to let you have more than a moment for them to sink in, okay? Insects, why cry? We all go that way. Insects, why cry? We all go that way. Now listen, you watermelons, if any thieves come, turn into frogs. Now listen, you watermelons. If any thieves come, turn into frogs. Leaping for the river, the frog said, excuse me for going first. Leaping for the river, the frog said, excuse me for going first. The night is so long. Yes, the night is so long. Buddha is great. The night is so long. The night is so long. Buddha is so great. Morning glories, yes, but in the faces of men are flaws. Morning glories, yes, but in the faces of men are flaws. Lanky frog, hold your ground. Isa is coming. Lanky frog, hold your ground. Isa is coming. This line of black ants, maybe it goes all the way back to that white cloud. This line of black ants, maybe it goes all the way back to that white cloud. The old dog bends his head, listening. I guess the singing of the earthworms gets to him. The old dog bends his head, listening. I guess the singing of the earthworms gets to him. Cricket, be careful. I'm rolling over. Doesn't sh shoo the cricket away from the bed. Cricket, be careful. I'm rolling over. He actually gave this one a title. And this is the last one. 
The pigeon makes his request. The pigeon makes his request. So this is the voice of the pigeon, rather than Esau speaking for the pigeon. Since it's spring and raining, could we have a little different expression, O oh, owl? This is the pigeon talking to the owl. Since it's spring and raining, could we have a little different expression, O oh, owl? For the city of Davis, I'm James Lee Job, and that is the haiku of Yobaka Yobahashi. I'm just messing up his known name. Well, he goes by Isa. I have to read the longer one. Yobayashi Isa was not the name he was born with. He adopted Isa. Uh, please take care. Shelter at home. Be safe. Wear your mask when you go out in public. Don't fool around. I keep one handy like this. They also make a fine head covering. <laughs>